Hello and welcome to a new video about MQTT, uh, Internet of Things. We are going to use MQTT, we are going to use our gateway here. Uh, this little thing shall be now in contact with our MQTT broker and posting values we tell it. Uh, therefore, we need to get a program on this little thing. Uh, but how? I mean, there is no USB port or something like this. There is nothing where I could plug. Yeah? However, this has, this has a serial port. Yeah? And I have my Arduino. Yeah? And my Arduino I can use as a USB to serial converter. Okay? How is this working? I just have to connect just have to connect the reset pin to the ground pin. Okay. Yeah. I could also hold this button, but this is not really this is not really useful, right? So what I'm going to do is to use the Arduino as a sort of adapter. Okay? So I plug in here the USB cable. And the data from the USB cable will now, because I have this bridge built in, yeah, appear here on those two pins. So they are labeled with RX and TX. TX. This is the serial communication. To, and this I can use to communicate with the ESP. That's it. Okay. So. Of course, we also have to power supply the ESP. Yeah? So there is a 3 to 3 volt white cable. Yeah? There is a ground, the black cable. These are the two, th two things. Yeah? I will plug the ground to ground and the white one to 3 to 3 volt. Yeah? Now it's power supplied. Yeah? And now I will simply use a second cable with RX and TX here yeah, and here also RX and TX. That's it. Yeah. Now I should be able to communicate with this ESP. Plug it in, see what is happening. Ah, there is light. Okay. Okay, okay. At least something is working, right? Let's see. Let's see. Now let's turn over to the computer. Huh? This is my Arduino program. This is my Arduino program. I want to have this program. I will link it in the video. I want to have this program on this device. How am I doing this? I have to select the proper board. Com is okay. Yeah. Now I select the board, but I cannot see any ESP board. I need to have ESP boards. Yeah. I can call the boards manager. However, also here I cannot find the ESP board. Yeah. What to do? I have to add an additional boards manager. Okay. How is this done? Here under Preferences. Here are additional board manager URLs. And here I have to enter a specific URL. This specific URL, you can find it also in, ah, there it is already, in the description. I will post it in the description. You have to write this, HTTP, 
double column, double pointed column, slash slash arduino.esp8266.com slash stale slash package esp8266.com underline index.json. That's it. Huh? Okay. Now, the boards manager, if I open now the boards manager, board manager, we should find ESP boards. ESP, here they are. And I'm going to install them. Huh? Now I'm installing quite a number of different ESP boards. I told you, there are different sizes, huh? there are different different type of ESP boards and we will use the proper one. Huh? Then on the boards I have additional information about those. Installation complete. Close. Now I should find on the boards here uh -huh, ESP boards and I will use a generic ESP8266 module. Okay. That's what this is. Generic module. Okay. Yeah. Now we have to download. Ah, no. I've used here. See, this is already red. Yeah. This one, this library I've used. This is actually the pub sub client. This is actually the library which is doing the MQTT handling. So communicating by MQTT to our broker. Yeah. So we also have to install this, manage libraries. Wait until the list is updated. Yeah. Boop soup. Boop soup client, here it is. Latest version, install. Good. Also, now I should be able to compile it. Let's check it. Takes a while. No. It's not a bad sign if it takes a while. Because then it's telling something. Aha! Sketch uses 30% of program space, uh, global variable 40% of dynamic library, passed. Uh, the compiling is done. Now I have to download this to the ESP. Okay. So we installed the board, yeah? we installed all necessary libraries, we compiled it, and now it's going to be downloaded. How do I do this? Yeah? I have to put the ESP into, into programming mode. Okay? Switch to switch to camera. I have to put this into programming mode. How is this done? I press the reset button. Okay, then it's reset. If I release the reset button, it will simply start the program which is currently running there. I have no idea what it's on there. So I press the reset button, then I press the proc button. Okay? Now I release the reset button. Now it has been started up with a press broke button. Now I can re release the broke button. And now it should be in programming mode. Uh, so I switched it by holding the broke button and pressing the reset button and releasing the reset button. I switched this to programming mode. Theoretically. Uh, now let's see what is happening if I press here upload. It's compiling again, of course, huh? and now connecting. Uh, writing! <laughs> Worked! Yeah? So, 
it seems like the programming mode worked. 50-57% is already there. Uh, you see the lights here, sometimes are flashing uh, here. Do you see it? I'm not sure. Okay, now it's downloaded. Uh, I have to press reset. Should be running, should be running, should be running. I don't know. All two LEDs are lit up. What does it mean? One is indicated if it's connected to, to Wi-Fi yeah? and one is indicated if it's connected to the MQTT server. Yeah? If both are lit up, nothing is connected. I've programmed this that way. So, what I'm going to do yeah, is to check if we are really connected. I will open the serial monitor. Yeah? And press the reset button. MQTT Gateway version 1 ready. <laughs> yeah, really, really, really it worked. So this is now sending to me. I am communicating directly with the ESP now. Yeah? Directly with the ESP. And one of the commands is a question mark. This simply means, hey, are you there? And it should answer with an exper. There it is. Okay. Now we have put our our program to the ESP. Yeah? Now the ESP should be ready yeah, to receive commands, yeah? and this program does support quite some commands. In the next video I'm going to explain those commands to you. Okay? So we have to set now the SSID, we have to set now a password for the Wi-Fi, we have to set the which which topics we want to subscribe, we have to set which topics we have to publish, we have to set uh, the, the MQTT broker address, we have to yeah, set usernames and password and so on. How this is working, yeah? I will explain in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.